Hey there, are you dealing with menopause or symptoms of perimenopause, but you're getting treated like you have a disease? Hey, guess what? It's not a disease. This is a transition in life and you need support, not someone who's going to try to medicate the crap out of it. So what can you do to help put your perimenopause or menopause symptoms in check? Well, first and foremost, you've got to work on your stress. You have to take breaks during the day. You've got to be sleeping. And it's really, really crucial that if you get worked up, it's time to go take a time out. Put yourself in the corner just like you would do with the kids and chill it out. Now, you might be thinking, well, Doc, I don't have time for that kind of stuff. Well, guess what? Do you have time for all of your symptoms of menopause or perimenopause? Because those of you who are in perimenopause, I hate to tell you this, but the less you manage your stress, the worse the symptoms get. And the worse the health becomes because you're gonna get all kinds of symptoms of imbalance. Partially the reason why we have symptoms of perimenopause and menopause is because we stressed ourselves out and our body couldn't maintain hormone balance anymore. The other reason is due to gut health. If you're not eating closest to nature, you're spending too much time eating junk food, you've got some vices such as that red wine, yeah, you know who you are, I used to be there. And I'm in the trenches with you. I am perimenopausal, I am figuring it out too, along with you. That's why I feel like I have a great sense of where to go here because I have successfully reduced a lot of my symptoms and I'm working on it day in, day out. So you gotta get the gut in check. Six cups of veggies a day, I know, sounds insane, but it helps, it makes a huge, huge, huge difference because your gut bugs need those veggies. They need the fiber, it's what they eat. Now you might be saying, doc, I don't digest veggies. Well, all right, fine. Sit down, chew your food 20, 25 times per bite. Yes, I'm not kidding. Take the time to eat, experience your food. And if raw stuff bothers you, cook it. You can, you know, five cups of spinach comes down about this. Now, am I saying do just spinach? No, variety is of course the spice of life and your gut bugs need some serious, serious variety. So make sure that you're doing that. If you like fermented veggies, like kimchi, like sauerkraut, like dilly beans, all of those things are magical for helping to support your beneficial bacteria. Taking a probiotic that has at least 10 or more strains of beneficial bacteria in it can help too. Can kombucha help? No. What's kombucha? Sugar water with some bacteria in it. I am not a fan of kombucha. I have never seen anybody successfully gain, let's put it this way, reestablish their beneficial bacteria with kombucha. Now, if someone can prove me wrong, bring it on. I would love to see it. If someone's got some data for me, let's do it. I want to know. I would love to know that someone could help, but I'd like to know what brand because all the stuff that's out there on the market, I've never seen anyone successfully reestablish their beneficial bacteria with kombucha. So we've got that. The other big factor is protein. How much protein are you getting in? As we get older, we need prote protein for fuel to the brain, not glucose. But what's gonna happen is your body is gonna start craving sugar. If you're like me, you might be like, oh, it's three o'clock. Where's the brownies? Where's the chocolate? Where's the chips? that's happening to you, you are stressed. You're not taking time to take breaks during the day. You're not listening to your body. It's time to do that. Now, I can help you with those sorts of things. I'm gonna be doing a series of videos coming up with all of the symptoms of perimenopause and menopause and what to do to combat these suckers. So if you want to learn more, head over to my website at drjkrausnd.com where you can find out what you can do about your perimenopause and menopause symptoms. And don't forget to check out my podcast, The Health Fix. It's got all the tools you need to help you become your own best doctor and especially in this transition time from perimenopause to menopause and beyond. I'm Dr. Janine Krauss. Thanks for watching.